Hi guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today is my top 5 4K 3D films of 2023. Um, there's also going to be a couple of honourable mentions in here. Um, these are the films that I've picked up on um, physical media and um, so we're going to sort of <coughs> do the two honourable mentions first and then we're going to count down from number 5 to my number one choice today on the channel. Welcome back. So, yep, as I say, uh, we're going to get into the list. I'm going to do the two honourable mentions first, and then we're going to get into the ranking um, for this um, for this year. Okay, so up first, a film that came out um, quite early in the year on physical media, and it is DC's Black Adam. Now. I actually quite enjoyed this film. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Yes, there's a lot of references to other um, superhero films in here. But, um, yeah, and it looked fantastic on 4K. Uh, really, really, you know, it's a modern, digitally shot film. So it's going to look good. A um, lot of um, bright colours on here. HDR did really well. Um, We've also got the um, Dolby Atmos soundtrack on this one. There's your tech specs, if you wish to read. Um, yeah, it sounded great. You know, it's great, um, you know, surround sound on it. Um, <clears throat> a lot of, some high effects, not a huge amount of high effects, but some. Um, but, um, yeah, a good solid release. Um, but didn't quite make my top five. But, yeah, just an honourable mention black adam okay so the other honorable mention um is a box set and it is the arrow box set of bruce lee the golden harvest collection what a fantastic box set this is um, all the first four bruce lee films remastered in 4k the big boss way of the dragon um fist of fury and Game of Death, multiple versions of the films in 4K on this box set. There's also a, uh, a 2K um, <clears throat> restoration of Enter the Dragon on here as well. Uh, but unfortunately, Arrow didn't have the rights to be able to do the 4K presentation. Um, Warner Brothers did bring out the 4K version of Enter the Dragon this year. Uh, I didn't pick that one up. Um, I didn't feel the need to pick that one up because you've got a great edition in here and I do own the film sort of on Blu-ray in various versions but yeah this was a fantastic um, release from Arrow probably one of the best box sets they've ever produced in my opinion uh, I'll just show you the back there's all the content on there wonderful um, <clears throat> you know special features in the way of sound, um, it's not really sort of an Atmos kind of affair, this. Uh, there's a lot of sort of mono tracks. Um, yeah, sort of, uh, there are, there's some 5.1 on here, but it's it's not, not really about the sound with this box set. It's more about the restoration of the films, and they're the best they ever looked. Um, and, you know, if you're a Bruce Lee fan, unfortunately, this particular box set isn't available anymore. The yellow box set. But there is, I believe there is another um, box set probably still available. But now they've actually in, released the films individually uh, in 4K. So if you're only interested in certain films, then maybe that's the way to go. But I would highly recommend uh, the Arrow 4K versions of the Bruce Lee Golden Harvest films. 
Okay, so my number five pick for 2023 is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. This is the 4K steelbook. Um, really nice steelbook, this one. And it contains the 4K and the Blu-ray editions. Again, we've got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack on here. Um, sounds fantastic. Um, <clears throat> the only thing with Disney, you do have to tend to sort of increase the volume a little bit um, with their Atmos tracks. However, I've recently discovered um, a setting on my receiver which will actually improve the Atmos sound to make it a bit louder. So there's not the need now to do that with these Disney releases. They, they sound fantastic. Um, yeah, highly recommend this one. Um, on Disney Plus, you can watch this with IMAX Enhanced. So you get those IMAX scenes. Um, you don't get that in this particular version on the disc. But um, So you, you can watch it that way. But you're probably not, not going to get the quality that you will on the disc. The physical disc for this one what i also will say is i've also got the 3d edition of this um not an official release but it's a bootleg uh the japanese release is incredibly expensive but um this is this is really good um the 3d on this again fantastic um a lot of sense of depth a few pop outs um <clears throat> the sound is a 7.1 dts master audio um, so it sounds really, really good as well. Um, I mean, not got well, it doesn't have the height effects, although on my receiver, uh, this will go to Neuralex. So I do sort of get that sort of enhanced um, quality with this. Um, but, um, but yeah, outstanding 3D. Um, it's nice to see that sort of, you know, you still can get hold of these 3D editions um, for these films. So yeah, my number five pick is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Okay, so coming in at number four, and this surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting much for this, but it is DC's Blue Beetle. Uh, really enjoyed this film, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, went in with very low expectations, but yeah, it, it was really good. And the 4K on this is fantastic. There's a lot of um, neon colours in this film, um, which really, really sort of shine in 4K, uh, really give you a system of workout. <clears throat> and um, again, shot digitally, you know, so it's going to look crystal clear. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed with this one. Uh, again, Dolby Atmos soundtrack, um, really, really good. Um, some height effects. And uh, a really good sort of surround sound, um, you know, <clears throat> with left and right separation. Um, good sense of depth, uh, sorry, good sense of bass on this one. And so, yeah, highly recommend Blue Beetle on 4K. So that's my number four pick. Okay, so we're into the top three now. So my number three pick is Guardians of the Galaxy volume three now i don't actually own the 4k physical disc for this at this present time however i have watched the um 4k presentation on disney and it looks great um obviously <clears throat> with streaming it's not going to look quite as good as the 4k disc but it still looks really good and you get those imax scenes with the imax enhanced version on disney plus um <clears throat> but this 3d edition wow i was absolutely blown away with this um the 3d is really really good on this one and again you get the incorporation of the imax scenes on this 3d version uh, again this is a bootleg uh, officially you could get this from japan <clears throat> with the 4k version um but yeah outstanding outstanding 3d probably um you know, one of the best sort of three D presentations I've seen for some time from Marvel, um, but yeah, really, really good. So, and a, and a really good film. Really enjoyed this film. Um, so, yeah, it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three on four K and three D. Okay, so my number two pick, and <clears throat> to be honest, number one and number two 
uh, pretty interchangeable um, but I'm going to put this at number two and it is John Wick chapter four this looks fantastic on 4k looks and sounds fantastic um, you've got you know the sound wise you've got gunfire coming from every direction um, <clears throat> picture quality looks outstanding again the scenes in Japan uh, you get neon colours coming through. So it's really sort of giving the HDR a workout on this one. Um, I don't know whether there's Dolby Vision on this. No. Um, there's Dolby, yeah, Dolby Atmos, but no Dolby Vision. But um, I, I couldn't comment on um, Dolby Vision anyway because I don't have that capable equipment. But yeah, really, really great picture quality. Um, John Wick 4 is my number two pick okay so coming in at number one <clears throat> now again I'm basing this on two formats 4k and 3d um, and it is the film Avatar the way of water this is the 3d edition and wow this looks amazing in 3d um, you know the 3D on the first film was pretty breathtaking. It was kind of what launched the 3D um, back in the sort of 2009, 2010 time. Um, and as we've seen, there's been sort of not many 3D releases sort of being, being done now, apart from Marvel. Um, but when this came out on 3D, it was blown away. By the, certainly by the underwater scenes, absolutely fantastic. And and the 4K presentation, again, I've watched the 4K presentation on Disney Plus, you know, and it, it's pretty pretty amazing. Um, <clears throat> in this film, you get a lot of bright colours, um, you know, with the sort of Pandora world, very much sort of set within the sea, sort of ocean, sort of water world part of the planet. And, um, you know, I mean... It looks equally as good as the um, as the first film, in my opinion. That I'm just talking about the the picture quality here. Um, I'm not talking about the actual film itself, um, but um, yeah, I um, yeah, I was blown away by the three D on this one. Really, really cool. Um, I haven't actually picked up the four K physical disc at present. Um, <clears throat> And my actual preferred way of watching this is the 3D version. But, you know, if 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 you're into, you know, buying 4K titles, I'd have no hesitation in picking up 4K of Way of the Water. Um, you won't be disappointed. And sound again is a Dolby Atmos um, <clears throat> soundtrack. Uh, you don't get the Atmos on this particular one. You will get it on Disney Plus or on the 4K disc. Um, but you do get a 7.1 um, DTS Master Audio track on the 3D and a 5.1 on the Blu-ray. Um, you also get three hours of bonus features on this one. Um, you would get that on the 4K disc as well. So, you know, it's packed full of special features. Um, as are most of the titles that I've shown, um, <clears throat> you know, they've all got special features on them. Um, but yeah, so my number one pick, well, like I say, these two really are, and are very difficult to separate. The only reason I put this at number one is because of that 3D edge. Um, obviously, you've got, you can either watch it in 3D or 4K, uh, but this is equally fantastic. So, number one film of 2023 for 3d and 4k presentation is avatar the way of water so that's my um <coughs> rundown of the films that i personally think look fantastic on 4k and in 3d this year be interested to hear your comments down below as to what you feel has um, been fantastic releases as I say, I haven't picked up everything this year um, by any means. I'm sure there are a lot of probably equally as good titles. Um, probably some things that may be a bit better than what I've 
shown on here. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts down below as to what you think um, you would put as your 4K um, title. So that's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Bye now.